Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So by request, I got asked to do a flat iron tutorial. If you're new to my channel, you might not know, but I am naturally curly. So once a month, I do flat iron my hair. And since I got requested to do it, I thought, why not do it now? So these are the final results. And it is the next morning. I do do my hair at night. So in the video, you will see me start from the very beginning. And then I'll show you the takedown, which was just now in the morning so it's very simple very easy um, it took takes a little while because I have a lot of hair but um, I love the results the final results are always good so it never fails me so I hope you guys enjoy maybe you'll learn a few things so sit back relax and I hope you guys enjoy the video I'll talk to you soon bye Hey guys, so this is the night before and I'm just getting out of the shower. Um, just a quick brief intro on um, how I got to this point. Um, when I flat iron my hair, I usually wash my hair the opposite way. So instead of doing the shampoo first, then a conditioner, I condition first, detangle, and then I shampoo. And the reason why I do that is because I don't want any um, product or any residue left over in the hair when I'm flat ironing. I like to just flat iron only the hair and then add product um, afterwards. And this is just my hair, no product in it. And what I also do is um, final rinse with cold water. So that helps with the shine and to seal in the moisture and just, you know, all that good stuff. So this is where we're at right now. I just got up the shower, just washed the hair. So what I'm going to do is add my heat protectant spray and I'm going to blow dry. So. And I just start from the back and work my way forward. And I'm just going to tie everything up. And I'm going to take a wide tooth comb and just go through one more again. But as you can see, it's going through very smooth because I've already detangled. The um, blow dryer that I use is just a Ceramic Professionals 1875. It's pretty old, um, but it still works very well. And of course, I use an attachment, but you can blow dry any way that you see fit. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so we are done blow drying and just a little tip, um, when you blow dry, if you feel kind of um, a little bit of maybe waxiness or kind of like something is on your hair, then um, when you flat iron it will not come out right. Believe me, I've messed up so many times with not washing um, the conditioner completely out or still having you know maybe coconut oil or something like that and when I go to blow dry I can feel that once I apply the heat to it it's going to be very stiff and very just waxy looking so you really want to make sure when you blow dry that it's very airy and very puffy the puffier the better so now that we look like we're related to Bone Thugs and Harmony we can finally flat iron so I'm gonna go ahead and plug up my flat iron let it heat up for a little bit and then I'll be right back to show you what I do next okay so now that it's like heated up I'm going to apply my heat protectant once again 
just to um, just be extra careful with the heat. I only apply this much heat once a month. So I know I'm not doing that much damage, but I still want to protect it when I do use heat. And we're just going to comb that through. Okay, so for the flat iron process, I'm going to take this small rat tooth comb, rat tail, rat tooth, <laughs> rat tail comb, and the flat iron I use is the Addis Ceramic. Not, you know, a chi or nothing fancy, but it works. So, same thing, I'm just going to section off from the bottom, working my way up. But this time I'm going to take smaller sections than what I did when I blow dry it, just so I can be very precise. So we're going to just place the comb right underneath and we're going to comb down while we're pulling down slow. And then just like that. Okay, so now would be a good time to part your hair in the way that you would like it to lay. So I like my hair mostly over to the left side. So I'm just going to finish up this right side and then I'll only have this much left to do. So we're almost done guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're down to the end. I'm just going to finish off by doing my bangs. And then I will show you guys basically my um, nighttime routine, what I do to maintain my straight hair. Okay, so this is basically it, guys. And remember, we did not put anything in the hair before we started. And look at that shine. It has nice shine, nice body to it. And I really do believe that's because um, I 
final rinsed with cold water and then I just flat ironed the hair with nothing on it so these are just my natural oils coming through and once um, you know it starts getting a little older it will get a little oilier because our hair does produce oil so that's why I think it's best to just start off um, without anything that way you have the most body and the most natural shine so this is it and it's going to look even better in the morning because once I wrap it and it has a chance to sit, then it will get even more flatter and uh, straighter. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my scarf and I'll show you how I wrap okay, it Okay, so before I wrap it, I just put on this Shine Serum. And this is just to just smooth everything down. It's a very kind of staticky right now so we just want to get it to be um, flat but if you like it like that um, you don't have to do this step and I'm main, mainly <laughs> focusing it on the ends of the hair so from like the ear down and then whatever is left over I will put it on the top like that Okay, so now again taking the wide tooth comb now, we're just going to go ahead and wrap it. I have my knot I'm just gonna twist it around just so that I can keep twisting the hair around and now my knot will be right in the front and I'm just gonna add my satin bonnet and I'm done for the night so I will see you guys in the morning for the final result all right guys so it's morning so it's time for the takedown so this is usually what I do um, whenever I do straighten my hair and I take my wide tooth comb again and I just go ahead and start combing down and I make sure everything is flat all around then I go ahead and part And it's nice and fresh. Sorry, I was looking in the mirror. <laughs> I'm just going to look over here for a quick second. Okay. And this is the final results so you might have to just go over your bangs a little bit but um this is the final results from my flat iron so I'll show you and I trimmed it just a little and then in the back that's the back so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you learned a couple new tricks or if you just wanted just to see how I flat iron my hair and I hope to see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Like if you want to see more hair tutorials and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!